Hey folks, okay. Let me tell you something. As you can see, this is the Max Headroom version of a unboxing. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the video. It didn't transfer from the camera to the PC. <laughs> and so I have to go and do the audio over again. But it actually kind of looks kind of cool. It's kind of, you know, impressionistic, man. But anyway. <laughs> so, yes, this is my second Hornaday safe. The Rapid Safe 2700 KP. So, I really like the AR version, the, the uh, long gun safe. And um, you can watch it in the uh the videos um but uh a lot of people said it was way too long and too drawn out so here is a really short and sweet little unboxing as you can see here <laughs> it's <laughs> it is what it is folks but anyway um I, what I really liked about the long gun safe is, you know, having the RF um, tags and being able to just go in and then swipe the uh, safe and then have the door open. Um, the last thing you need to do is remember a combination while you're under, you know, stress. So um, I know there's some people out there that really don't like it, but you know, as you can see, this still does have keys. So, you know, you can still just say you misplace your RFID tag and all you have to do is find your keys. But anyway, but yeah, the, I know some people don't like it, but um, I, I'm finding that I actually kind of like it. Um, you know, you don't want to be fumbling with a combination. You're not going to want to be fun trying to find keys. I mean, shoot. So, um, you know, having this RF tag in your wallet or like I did with my wife. I mean, I basically put the tag inside her cell phone case. So all she has to do is just swipe her cell phone. So, um, but... I'm viewing this upside down, so I'm not sure what I just said. I pointed to a warning. <laughs> Who knows what I was saying at that point. So, but anyway, as you can see here, this is the safe. And uh, this one is the size of a large handgun. This is for like a uh, an antique 1911. Um I always use lithium batteries in everything now. Um, they last a little bit longer and they don't have the tendency to leak. Um, so, um, so basically you just go in and open up the safe. You can see where there's a little passageway there for the uh, cable, but um, it's really a solid uh, little safe I mean you know it it's pretty sturdy so the first step is to of course unlock it yep that's right Ooh. so inside you're gonna find all the little accessories and yes you can actually feed a line through there so that the um, hey it's Tovin Tovin just arrived um, you can see that uh, you can connect it to a external power supply or you could use the batteries. So you can see the construction here. You know, it's pretty sturdy um, considering. And, uh, and it's large, like I said, it's large enough for a 1911. So um, if you're a collector of antique guns, there you go. It's pretty big. I know most uh, guns nowadays, handguns that is, are you know are compacts and and stuff like this. So, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm of course putting in the battery. Now, this case is portable. That's why I'm not using the um, external power supply. So, 
if you hear a bunch of chomping in the background, it's just Tobin eating. Um, but anyway, hi, Mamu. Melissa's waving. So, first you either plug it in or you plug in the, the batteries. And Tobin's enjoying a treat. So, here's the accessories. <laughs> the Jackson Pollock version. <laughs> there you go. There's an RF tag. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> my max headroom. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yes. So, there you go. What I'm doing is, is programming it. Yeah, you press and hold down that there little Horner Day thing until the lights light and then you pass it over and then uh, it programs and as you can see you can program up to what was it seven but so basically just press the H I gotta lock this uh. <laughs> let's see Man, I wish the audio recorded. Oh, here we go. So I'm programming number one. So I'm pressing and holding, letting it flash, going in, holding the RF tag over the sensor. Come on. Jeez, Louise. There we go. And ta-da! It worked. See the little light there? All right. <laughs> Man, this is just horrible. Sorry, folks. Whoa, that was cool. But, yep, as you can see, you know, there is... Um, oh, I'm just showing you how it works from the other side. So, here you go. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Holy cow. Yep, I'm just too dang lazy to go and redo this. And I think it actually kind of looks cool. Yeah. Guess what John did when he went to college? I majored in art. <laughs> yep. Guess what? I'm not an artist anymore. Nope. But anywho, here's the rest of the junk in the trunk. Yep, you get more tags. Those are the ones that you can stick on your cell phone if you want. So there you go. You get two of the sticky kind, and you get one of the keychain. <laughs> uh, and that cable connects to, oh, and here's a bracelet. Any of you guys ever actually use that? I don't know. I just tell people it's a Fitbit. <laughs> anyway, no, I don't I don't actually use it. I'm just joking. But there it is. There's everything you get into it. Um, so now I think I'm going to go in and program the rest of these RF IDs. And uh, but like I was saying, um, I don't use the bracelet, even though I think it would be kind of funny. People asked, gee, what's that on your wrist? Oh, that's a Fitbit. It's the new Fitbit. So, see, I'm programming number two. So, that's the other thing I like about this is that, you know, say you lose one of these or whatever, you can delete the configuration and then program it to accept another RF ID tag. And um, so. And I've already bought additional tags because um, I don't know if you've ever seen the videos where people, here comes Melissa just creeping up on me. Come on, sit down, sit down quick. You're <laughs> Tovin's done eating his uh, stuff. So you don't, you're not going to hear him chomping away, but so, yep, here I am programming the keychain one. 
But like I was saying, um, you know, some of these hidden safes, um, they use little magnets to um, open and close them and, and like that. And, you, you know, you could hide them underneath a vase or, or whatever. Well, you could do the same thing with these RFID tags. You could just stick one underneath a vase or, or something or some obscure thing that you know to go and grab. Oh, <laughs> yep. You can see where I put mine in my wallet. And, yes, I do own a Corvette. So now I'm going to program my wallet. <laughs> Here we go. And boom. There it goes. So yes, the RF will go through leather, folks. Yep. Kinky, kinky, kinky. <laughs> uh, just crazy. Yep. Thumbs up. So if you found this entertaining and informative, who knows? Just give me a thumbs up, please. Or comment. Even if you hate it, thumbs down, comment. Guess what? It don't matter because YouTube gives us credit, whether it's good or bad. But anyway, and please subscribe. Just click that. You know, you put the you click the bell and it notifies you. Well, it may notify you, it may not. Who knows? But it does help us. So please, thumbs up, thumbs down, good comment, bad comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.